part of your training as a painter, as an artist, is learning to be outdoors, but not just in the wilderness, also outdoor, just outside of your studio. So you have your studio set up here, you got your easel, you got your work table, you know, but your field pack, um, and the, well is, the way it's packed, it's, uh, it's part of your martial arts training, and also part of this painting system. You're expected to learn and modify your very personal own field pack. Mine, I'll show you uh, my, my current rigs. First of all, you are expected to learn our clip system. Everything belongs in a bag and every, every bag gets clipped together. All the bags get clipped together. For example, here's another bag. Sturdy pack pack. I got this bag from my friend Adam. <clears throat> Love this bag. Pack it. Backpack will clips on. I got this bag from my friend uh, David Rothman. He got it from Adam. Your clip system. Boom. This holds 2,000 pounds, so everything clips onto everything. To this, to this. Everything comes together. In case you are in a rescue situation, this pays off. And living in New York City, believe it or not, living in New York City, you have to live this way. So we have this other to-go bag. It's one of my other go bags. Also have a my other to go back here I have uh, is ribbed and padded. It'll hold structure, holds heavy weight. Very sturdy. So these three bags. It's my to-go bag. 
There's my field ration pack and my shelter pack. So all three packs clip on together. Clip them on with this. Into that in a second. These are uh, New York City living guys. To go bags. You don't have one? Pack one. You packed yours? Check yours. These are the kind of tools you put in your to go bag now. So you have tools so you could be in the field setting up a shelter. <clears throat> Protection. At night time, I love these. These are my favorite. These are wear these in the snow and at night time. During the daytime, though, when I'm out, right these bad boys right here. See, keep these on. So my street painting pack. Contains my canvases. See, inside a rugged bag. It's not gonna rip and tear on me halfway. Easy to transport. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight canvases here in this bag. And travel with that. Clips on. Bungee. Bungee's attached to my backpack. On my backpack, yes. See, bungees. We're in New York City living. Gotta read it, guys. Got to read it. Excellent book. Love it. my brushes so then this rig here this clip is holding the bungee cord in place this here you need one of these this won't hold your body weight and this won't hold your body weight either but this will this is a carabiner Get one. You're expected to have one actually. If you need to get airlifted out, this is the way to go. Caravan. All right, so this is my, my painting kit. Now usually I have a more, a lighter weight kit actually for the subway when I'm out riding in the city. Small backpack, very lightweight. But again, fit a lot into it. Then, pencils. Got paint. You love the Sharpies. Gotta have cards. Get them at Moo.com. Business cards. You gotta have the brushes. These are great.
That's why it's important to have a sketchbook when you're on the subway. This is a new one. Gray hat. Chris, my boy Junior. Love to him. Old Holland. Love Old Holland. So that this is my, my, my more urban get up. I ride with it in the subway. Doesn't take up much space, easy to get. But again, clip system, still clippable. This one has a big clip on it, so you can put your grocery bags and still be hands free. You know? Again, New York City living, guys. You gotta innovate. So, this is part of our backpacking workshop, it's part of our, our prepping. Guys, start prepping, be preppers. Always be ready. And, you know, you gotta. You, Plan to succeed or succeed to plan. No, something like that. <laughs> Enjoy, have a good day.